Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, CT5K here, bringing you guys another redstone video. So I noticed a lot of you guys were interested in the analog clock I made last week. If you're new to this channel or just haven't seen that video just yet, it should appear at the top right corner of your screen right about now. I saw how much interest you guys had in this prototype, so I decided to go ahead and revise it to make it more efficient. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two clocks. As you can see, I've removed most of the torches and also replaced the static numbers with barrels. You don't have to use barrels, but I recommend that you do, especially if you're in survival, because it makes this build only one block tall, whereas if you use a chest, it would have to be two blocks tall. As you can see, the functionality is the same, but there are some very important key differences. So, for example, in the original design, you can see that I used torches for the add circuit, whereas in the new design, I used one torch right here and a barrel right here. Now this barrel is still set to the power of 15, but I'm using a barrel instead of a torch. If you're wondering why, I'll explain it to you. But before we get to that, I need to tell you guys about something. You see, there's a little button right down here. If it's red, I want you to press it so that you don't miss any of these videos. I upload a lot of tutorials and I think you guys would find them helpful. So make sure to subscribe. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So if we try to make the first model faster, we have to make this B loop faster because this is the entire loop that controls the clock. So an easy way of doing it would be to just simply replace one of these with a piece of dust. But as you can see, if I replace it, it instantly gets powered because of this torch. Now with the new design, the barrel still gives a value of 15 for the add circuit, but does not power the piece of redstone dust as you can see right here, making this design one tick faster per cycle than the original clock. While this isn't a whole lot faster per cycle, the overall time is definitely improved. From the first design, it would move from 1 to 15 in about 7.5 seconds, which isn't horrible, but could be a lot faster. This new design, if my calculations are correct, can do that exact same cycle in 6 seconds. So if speed is a priority to you, then I definitely recommend you use this design over the first. Like in the first video, I'll be showing you guys how to build this. This is a pretty simple build, if I'm going to say so myself. So first what we got to do is we have to build an add circuit. So first we're going to place down a torch, then replace a comparator, subtraction mode, another comparator in subtraction mode, and then the comparator in subtraction mode. But instead of placing a torch here, we're going to place a barrel. Now we're not going to adjust this barrel just yet, but we will be. Now we will place a block here, followed by a piece of redstone dust, followed by one more block. Then we'll create a type 3 wire around this to create our B loop. So now if we were to place this right here and place a barrel and give it the value of 1. Nothing happens because we haven't filled the barrel yet. Now we have that done. We're going to place a block here followed by a comparator with a dust like this. And also make sure this comparator is set to subtraction mode and not comparison mode. Then we'll come along here, place a comparator and a piece of redstone dust, and place a barrel to store our next value. Now it's time to fill the barrels. Each barrel has a different value. So let's start off with the simplest one, which is this one right here, and it's going to be 1. We're just going to right click on it and give it a value of 1 to create the loop. Now we're going to come to this one, which is the barrel for the add circuit. Open it up and completely fill it with blocks. These can be any blocks or any item for that matter but it has to be completely filled to the max, otherwise it won't be giving a value of 15. Now, if you have an issue like this, don't worry, this last barrel will fix that. The last step to completing this clock is filling this barrel, and so we're going to completely fill it with cobble, just like right here. And then this is set to a static 15. Now, if you notice, this is blinking on and off, this is actually really common when you're making a clock, especially if everything isn't working perfectly the first time. But what we can do is we can just place this and reset it, and everything works just fine, as you can see. If you're still having issues with this build, and I recommend just pausing this video right now just to get a good view of what each component is supposed to be. So this left barrel is supposed to be 1, and these two right barrels are supposed to be 15. If you're still having trouble with it, then post it on my Discord server. The link to that will be in the description. Anyways, I can't wait to see 
what you guys are able to do with this. Anyways, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. The links will be in the description, as always. I will be releasing a third design that is even better than the one I just showed you guys. So make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell them to tell their friends to subscribe. Heck, if your pigeon has a YouTube channel, tell it to subscribe. And if you have a pet pigeon, that's kind of cool. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And let's go change the world.